guys, I'm Elisa and welcome to PurseBuzz.com. So today I'm going to be doing an open box review, which is just kind of an initial review on a whole bunch of products that I just recently received. So I just opened these boxes. I don't know exactly what's in there. So we're going to kind of go over them real quick, talk about like a pre-initial review so that maybe you're interested in it or maybe you just kind of want to put a pulse on it. Maybe you'll look into it later on. It's just kind of an introduction on what's going on in the beauty world. Hey guys, I wanted to try something new and get your opinion. Since I do these reviews for you, please check out PurseBuzz.com and vote on the next product that you'd like to see me review. Alright, let's get back to this video. So this first box right here is in a long box and we'll see what's in it. It is... It's a whole bunch of chapstick stuff. So let's see here. Soft Lips, which is a really popular almost like chapstick, so it looks like they have some new flavors. It's peach, mango, and vanilla. That sounds good, right? Peach, mango, and vanilla. SPF 20, that's good. Ooh, this one smells really good. Peach, mango. Mmm, I like that one. I don't know about vanilla. Let's see. It smells very vanilla, so if you don't like vanilla, I don't recommend it. It's a little bit like a chapstick, but almost just a little fancier as far as the packaging goes. And there's SPF 20, so that's cool and some deodorant. I guess this is a new one, Certain Dry. It looks very doctor-like prescription style. It's no frills or anything like that. And let's see, there's a new Pure Honesty. Yeah, it's not as exciting as the other one, SPF 15. Then this is Papaya. I have a Coral Charm. Ooh, this is cute. This is like a little juicy tube, so let's check this one out. See that kind of color and a bit sticky. So Coral Charm, I wonder what that would smell like. Maybe it's just a color. So it's a rubbery angled applicator. That's new. I haven't really seen too many of that before. I think there's another brand that does that. So this isn't like your typical lip gloss. It almost feels like a lipstick. It smells really good. And there's no taste to it. It's a really, it's a pretty color, but it's definitely a mix between like a lipstick consistency and a lip gloss consistency. And let's see, there's another one here, Vanilla Berry. This one looks like there isn't going to be any color in it, just SPF 15. And they have Chai Tea, Peppermint, Pomegranate. Ooh, that one has to be good. And here's another one. This is... Oh, I don't know what color this one is. Maybe it's Natural Honesty is the color. We'll see. And coconut cream. Ooh, and cherry. Cherry is like my absolute favorite. So I'm excited to try that one out. And this is organic coconut and sugar. Infused with natural conditioners. Exfoliating lip polish. Okay, that is a must have. I get a lot of questions about having to exfoliate your lips and how do you do that. And the easiest way is just to get a little bit of sugar and just use a toothbrush and just kind of go over all like the dead skin cells and just kind of lightly remove it. Or you could probably use this never tried it so it smells really good it will exfoliate lightly it doesn't have too many of those little micro beads but it's definitely in a good step I think it's like micro micro beads hmm. let's see this one says to use apply in a circular motion with fingertips on lip and dry areas around the mouth rinse with water and wipe clean so you can also look into this option or the sugar option Okay, this is a cool product I'm excited to try. As seen on TV, this is the Professional Series Conair. So this girl looks pretty happy right there as she's doing her hair. So I can't wait to try this one out because I don't have anything of this size. I have like a bigger one, like the lava one. So this is exciting. I want to try it because it goes up to 400, I just threw that on myself, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So we will check that out. And some more lip glosses. I'm probably going to like sort this out and have to do a giveaway because there's just way too many here for one person. Ooh, shell pink. Oh, and here's another one. Shell pink. Cute. All right, so that's one of the boxes that I got. This I want to try. Here's another one. This one's from Postal Sense. And it's a little box that says, thank you. It's a little gift to me. Shadow Works Eyeshadow Primer from Coastal Scents. Okay, this one's different. 
I wonder if it's the same one in a different tube. Tubes are so much better than jars. Let's see. Have, have any of you guys tried this yet? Oh, this one looks like Urban Decay Sin. See that? Feels like it. Let's squirt a little bit on and then see what it looks like after the end of the video. Okay, so we'll see. It feels really good though. I think this is something I will definitely consider liking. All right, here's this next one. This is from Stars Makeup Haven, one of my favorite websites to buy. Really nice discounted eyeshadows and palettes. And I have a whole bunch of pans. I love making my own eyeshadow and like pressing my pigments and products like that. And you just get them from like TKB or your own MAC pigments and you just press them in here. So she has some new freestyle palettes. It says here's a small one. We all love freestyle, especially if you're a makeup artist and you have all kinds of brands that you see potted. You can't just stick to one. So it's really nice to have a freestyle palette. So this is plastic. It's pretty nice. And it feels like there's a magnet right here. Pretty sturdy. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I don't know if it would work, but let's just try anyway. It might need that little magnet piece. Oh, it works. Hey, check that out. Ooh, I like this one. Aw. It's like a game at the carnival where you're like, can it work? Will it stick? Yes. That's awesome. I love this. Let's see how many we'll hold on here for fun. Looks like it fits five on top. So probably like 15 with a little extra wiggle room if you do the standard MAC ones. So that's a small one. And then the big one, here we go. This is cool. So it feels a little sturdier than like the 88 palette. Definitely sturdier. I don't know if it's the magnet is what makes it feel sturdier, but it definitely feels sturdier. Just like a simple little clip there. All right, let's see how many this will hold. What if I just sprinkle them on? You think they'll stick? Oh my gosh, this is going to hold a ton. Oh man. Okay, so if you're a makeup artist and you're serious, this is like the thing, like, okay, here we go. Ah. Okay, so that one fell. Alright, let's see how many you'll hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So at least, but one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight times five is 40. Oh my God, this is like 40 eyeshadows. I think this is gonna be my biggest palette ever. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, that is so cool. So, starsmakeuphaven.com. This, I recommend right away because you could totally tell it's gonna be amazing. And she has some new eyeshadows. I'm so excited. Let's see what colors these are because I love the ones that she has before. They're really pigmented and they're creamy. They're they're definitely ones where you feel the mineral oil, kind of like the Urban Decay ones. So this one is green. Can't tell the name of it. Scandalous. I think I already have this one. And Raisin Cane. Ooh, here's a pretty yellow one. Let's try that out. This one's called Fireflies. It'll match my bra strap. Oh, how cool. Okay, so I'll try it right on top. So this is without a base. This is with the Coastal Sense base. Oh, look at that. I think these are only like $6 a piece too and they're the same size as MAC, so yay! Okay, let's see what other colors there are here. Some fun colors. Some greens, some corals. I have a lot of swatches on my site too, so you should check, definitely check it out if you're interested in Finding some new and expensive eyeshadows. Oh, here's one I have to swatch. This is called Extreme. It's a little bit brighter than MAC Bitter. It's like neon. This one's a little faint. Almost a little too powdery for me. But I mean, it's more like a 
I want to say a faded neon. So like if you want neon but you're like, eh, I can't quite commit to neon. This is pretty. But I like this one. This is called Euphoria. I don't think I have anything like this. Check that out. It looks like a purple with like a little bit of a blue base, but it's warm. Okay, so there it is. So on my hand and as a swatch. So that's on my hand. Uh oh. So this is on my hand alone, and this is on top of the Coastal Sense base. So pretty, pretty. And I think that's it. The rest of the colors are pretty tame. Some neutrals. This is, this is a really pretty, it looks almost like a dusty lavender. This one's called Fifi. Throw it at you. You ready? Catch. So that's Fifi. And let's see. It's kind of dual tone, a little bit blue, a little lavender. And it's definitely pigmented. It's very pretty. This is Fifi. The one I really like is Euphoria. Check that out. It's almost like lipstick. And then they also have the eyeshadow like in the pot form. Ta da! It has a cute little star on it. It's a pretty sturdy, I mean, it really feels just like a MAC one actually. But. It's a little harder to open. Maybe I'm not doing it right. It's not that hard. You just have to open it correctly. So I had a little trouble there. But I am crazy about this palette right here. Crazy! Okay. Gotta be serious. Moving on to the next product. So this next box here is from Jundage. So they have some new packaging and I am a huge fan of their products and they wanted to send me the new, new packaging so I can show you guys because I've been using the other products. So here is the Gentle Exfoliator in the sexy little bottle. And I'll have a link to it. And this one's the Toner Mister. So you just take it and then you just take a little cotton ball and you just wipe it down or if your face is bare and clean you could just tone yourself up and feel a little refreshed. And it's 98% organic. This one is the Virgin Argan Oil. Argan? Argan? I don't know. This next one right here I haven't tried yet. And this is for troubled skin. Use sparingly a little goes a long way. So I will try it. It reduces scarring and stretch marks. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to be trying this one. And... This is the Acne Cleanser. I haven't tried this one either. It smells very medicine-like. But not bad, just very medicine-like. This is what I love right here, is the pumpkin peel. You have to smell this stuff. I mean, can it this? Arrgh! Let me in! All right, here we go. Oh, it's seals. I haven't finished up my other one yet, but I really like it. I love the way it feels and the way it looks. <laughs> You'll see it. I'll do a video or I'll do like a review on my site, but it's definitely something that just feels really great on the skin. And this is the toner. Jundage Organics. Directions. Use wetted pads after cleaning. Toner is like my best friend in the summertime, so I'm excited to try this one out. I need to work out. Okay, so I can't open it. Oh, there we go, there we go. Ooh, look, that. I'm excited to try this. It's like the Noxzema pads, but it's not. It's actually organic, so. Mmm definitely going to be trying this stuff out. So, use wetted pads after cleansing. Any skincare effort is not complete without either a toner as part of the skincare regimen, which is very true because you want to clean up all that dirt and oil that's in your pores that you couldn't get just by cleaning at the surface level. And so it's nice to have something with a little bit of an exfoliator as like a sponge or like a, not a sponge, but as like a little cleaning pad to just get right in there and clean it up. And then tone your skin at the same time. Yay for that.
to Better Skin. You can follow them too on Twitter and you can learn all about them. If you're in a, a if you're an organic fan, if you always, you know, want to look for things that are natural, I'd highly recommend them. So this box right here is their anti-aging serum. And you just take this right here and you use it. You can either you can either use this whole thing or you just kind of use half of it and then save it like on your counter like this and then use the rest at a later time. And it's a little difficult for me to say yes, this absolutely works, the anti-aging system, but it hasn't made it worse. <laughs> I believe Corin has actually tried it and says that it has done a phenomenal job, but for someone like me who swears she's 21, will deny and deny, you know, you know how it goes. And when you're done, you can actually plant this because there's actually seeds in here and it'll grow a little tree. Isn't that cool? So I might just dump all this out and plant this in my parents' backyard because I don't have a backyard, but that is going to be cool. I really want to see what that looks like, a little, little plant made out of, from a cardboard box. So I think that's so awesome that June Dodge is looking out for the environment, looking out for our skin, and, you know, really working on using products that are organic. Yay for them! Okay, as I sit in my mess here, the last one is a Makeup Forever bag, and these are products that were used for their fashion show, so I'm really excited to try these out, and I'm also going to be doing some Makeup Forever giveaways too with these products, so look out on PrisBuzz.com in the next coming week for some little giveaways, and on Twitter. Okay, so let's see. First one is a bronzing powder in this very fancy compact. Oh, <laughs> magnetic. Ta -da. I like how it's kind of ashy. The bronzer, so I'm not going to look orangey. I want to take a picture first before I try it, but can't wait to try that. This is the blush. This is. Number eight, looks very natural. I've tried this before at a makeup show and it just didn't come off my hands. It was very permanent. It was like waterproof, water soap proof, and it was a little crazy. So I know when you use this, just take a little bit on your hand and then whip it up into a brush and then put it on your face. Like I wouldn't go like that and I wouldn't go like that. Sometimes when you go like that, you just kind of have the tendency to like put a lot. So I like to put a little bit on the back of my hand, warm it up, you know, with your skin and then put it on your cheeks. And then it's supposed to look like it's coming from within. Oh, cool colors. Okay. So I got some aqua colors here. I'm excited to try these out. I actually saw these at a makeup show too. And I just did not get a chance to go over there. Because like I know many of you guys know, Makeup Forever is just a crazy place to go to at a show. It's just hours and hours of insane lines. So I'm super excited to swatch these and try these out for you guys. The red one is supposed to be like the most amazing color for your lips. I don't want to put it on because I'm afraid I won't be able to take it off for three days. But let's open it up. Okay, it's definitely not the jar today. It's me. And I just can't open anything. Okay, here we go. So there's the red. Very pretty. So I want to see. I have the original cream colors from Makeup Forever. So I'm excited to try the aqua creams. Maybe I'll find colors that are like exactly the same in my palette and then just do like a side-by-side -side comparison. So check that out coming up in like the next few weeks. And that's my red one. So I've got like a gold one, a pink one, like a bronze one. Like a gold for summer. Oh, this is really pretty just to pat on your lid. I'm going to be doing a waterproof makeup tutorial coming up soon, so I'm excited. I'll probably use something like that. This is a really, this is like a creamy rose and turquoise and then like a pearl. And I also want black Some eyeshadows. It's pretty. It's like a pen gray and a forest green. This forest green one's called N3, I'm sorry, it's number 310. Can't read it upside down. My bad. And some pigments. That's some purple pigment. Star shadow. And it's some star powder. And it's like a brown and a purple. 
and a lip and a lip gloss in this peachy color. I've been loving their new lip glosses. <gasps> I can't wait for to do a review on. I picked them up at the makeup show and it's really nice. This one smells like mint. Mmm. Okay, this one's glossy full in extreme shine lip gloss. I guess this is number 10. I used to get those little samples of this, but I don't remember them smelling like mint. This is good. Mmm. Okay. I love it. I don't know. We'll see how it works as far as like color though. And black eyeliner. Alright, so that about wraps it up for my open box day. I know this one's a little bit longer than usual because I wanted to go into more detail about the product so you guys can keep it on your radar. Maybe you're interested and you're just going to go zip on out to the stores to purchase it. I'm going to have some links below. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Elisa here for PurseBuzz.com. Bye-bye! <laughs>